You can create mailing labels for your tables, queries, reports, and forms. All you have to do is go ahead and select it before you begin creating them. But first of all, let's go ahead and open up the customer info report. And I got a total of, I think, 14 records here. There's the customer name, address, city. Where's the state? Well, I want to create a mailing label that includes the state, but it's not in this report. But because the report is based upon the customer table, when I double click and open it up, it's in there. So when I go through the label creating process, it'll actually pull in that field because, again, the report's based upon it, even though it's not in the report. Well, let me show you. Let's go ahead and close out. Select the object that we want to create labels for, and it's going to be the reports customer info. Come up here, click on the Create tab, go to the Reports group, click on Labels. Opens up the label wizard where it's going to ask us a bunch of questions based upon our answers. Hopefully we get the right label that we're looking for. So first off, who manufactured your labels? Is it Avery or somebody else? Go ahead and select that. And then up above, on that box of labels, it should have a product number that you can go ahead and select, the dimensions, and then, well, the total number of labels across or columns. So if that's it, go ahead and click Next, or if you want to do your own custom thing, click on it, and then click on New, and you can type in the numbers down below for the different sizes or spacing in between other labels. But we'll keep it simple and close out of here and go with the templates, and then click Next. And then for the font name, it gives you a preview. Do you want an Arial? Do you want the font weight light, italics, underline, change the color, the font size, you know, how it appears. I'm going to leave it as is and click Next. And then what would you like on your mailing label? Here's the available fields. We want the customer name, double click, adds it over here in the prototype label. Hit the Enter key because below the customer name, we want the address, double click, hit Enter, then the city, and then do comma space, and hey, there's the state. It pulled it in, even though it wasn't showing in the report. Cool. Double click the state, hit the space bar, then double click the zip. Looks good. And if you want to add something additional to what you see here, you can go ahead and type in, well, the name of your company, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to go ahead and hit the backspace key here and just keep the data fields coming in without any extemporaneous text on my part. Click Next. And then which fields would you like to sort by? The customer name. There we go. Double click to add it over to the right. Click Next. And then what name do you want to give your report? Well, it's based upon the customer's table, the report that is, and so it's labels, the prefix, and then the prefix TBL customers, or you can just say, look, it's really the RPT, customer info report, in any case, it's your flavor. And then down below, what do you want to do? Do you want to see the labels as they will print out in the print preview, or do you want to make some design changes? Let's go ahead and leave it as is and click Finish. And in the print preview, hey, there we go. Is it sorted by name? Let's check it out. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, the song checks out with what I see here. So it's sorted alphabetically. Great. Now, before you go ahead and come up here and click on the Print button, I recommend that you do a trial print. What I do is I print this on a blank sheet of paper, and then I hold that up in front or behind a sheet of labels and put that up in front of a light. So when the light shines through, if I see the outline of a label that fits everything just so within it, then we're good. But if the outline of the label kind of cuts it off here, then I need to make some tweaks here. And a few ways you can go about doing that. One is to right-click and go to the Design view. And you're working with your grid here because we've got a lot of space between the label here and the next label. So if you want to go ahead and shrink it up, hover over the top section bar, the page footer, until you can see arrows pointing up and down. Click and drag that up. Well, you don't have to do it all the way, but I'm exaggerating to show you how it's really going to look. You can actually select the fields, right middle resizing handle, and pull those in. And, and then you don't want the extra space vertically between, well, this label and the one over here. So let's pull it in, make it tighter. And then let's go ahead and right-click and go to the print preview. And, ooh, that's looking nice and snuggly. Now, you can do it that way, or in the print preview, come up on the page layout tab and go to the page setup. And there you go. You can mess with your margins for the top, bottom, left, right for the entire page here. But more specifically, let's focus on the columns because we've got three across and then the row spacing, zero, and then column spacing. Ooh, that's pretty tight. So in between the columns, it's getting kind of snuggly. And then the column size with the width, eh, maybe we can shrink it up here and do two inches. And then the column height, go ahead and make your changes there. 
and then click okie dokie and you see it brings it in further so whatever works best for you you got some options when it comes to getting your labels just so and then when you're ready come up here and click on print it's a go thanks for watching hey as a quick reminder if you like my video please give it a thumbs up you can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos and for great specials on my products please see the description below this video